CAR T cells are a way in which we can essentially remove the immune cells, T cells, from the patient and uh, genetically modify them so that we can essentially force them to see cancer cells. People refer to it as a living drug. They are very different than obviously what one thinks of when they think of a drug. I mean, a drug can be manufactured in large lots. You know, you do all your quality control on it for, for a huge batch of the drug, and then you ship it out to hospitals and you're ensured that all patients are getting the same drug. When you're making a, a product that's, that's individual for each patient, I mean, that takes a large group of people to manufacture consistently products for multiple patients in a, in a robust way, in a safe way. The Gates Biomanufacturing Facility was really built specifically for these sorts of trials, not necessarily CAR T cells. The, the initial concept was that it would be used for uh, regenerative medicine, but it just turns out that the same type of a facility that would be used to manufacture those products is the same facility that would make CAR T cells. What people underestimate is having the right people, having a dedicated team, having people that have expertise in this area. And then the next thing is that once you have the team in place, there's a huge amount of work that goes into just building the systems that sort of control the process by which you manufacture these cells. I mean, it's thousands and thousands of pages of documents to ensure that you all have all the safety checks in place, you know, et cetera, before you can comfortably go to the FDA and say, we think we can manufacture CAR T cells. My goal is in five years to be recognized as one of the institutions where the, the next phase of this started.